Well, these artists um, were largely born during the first half of the 20th century, active during the mostly second half of the century in the American South. Black artists, most of them descendants of um, enslaved forebears um, who had uh, suffered through, of course, also the segregation that dominated the South after the Civil War. Um, the legacy of enslavement, the sort of harrowing violence um, and um, abuse that um, they um, experienced and social disadvantage, economic disadvantage, and yet they stayed close to their um, communities. As we confront the history of colonialism and Britain's impact on the wider world, I think there really is a thirst for people to want to know about different histories and different perspectives. And I think this is what that exhibition will offer to them. When my grandfather came from the war, World War I, he was so careful and caring for us that he would sit up all night sometime just protecting the chickens in the chicken house. So I did this piece called The Spirit of Man at the Chicken House Door. And, and the things that I do and why I do them, I try to show how we have lived with what we had. So we had to do extra hard because we was considered to be the slaves. We was considered to be the outcasters. We was considered to be the thrown away parts of humanity. And where were we thrown away at? We was thrown away into the thrown aways. That was our playground, the stuff that was thrown away and we learn to reuse it. I don't want to cry about it, but it's just such an honor to have met all these artists that's in these shows, and especially this show. Uh, I mostly know of everyone that was in this show. And I met them.
and it's like we became a team. I imagine the spirit that was in me allowed them to understand that we was working for a greater purpose. 